3D geometric forms. First I'm going to cut a circle so I can make a cone for you here. It can be any size circle. There we go. I'll go ahead and cut a slit in it about halfway. Sort of looks like Pac-Man there. I'm going to take it. I'm going to overlap these two parts. Now the more you overlap, the taller your cone will be. I'm going to overlap about that much. Put a few dots of glue. Hold it down. Now as I'm holding it down to make sure it sticks, you can also decorate the edges of it as well. And modify your cone as well. Sort of like that. You can glue these down by putting a dot of glue on the tip, or you can glue them down flat, just like that. Next, what I'm going to do is a cylinder. Cylinders are fairly easy to do. You start with a square or rectangle, and then of course you just roll it over like this. Put a few dots of glue. Edge it together just like that. And there is your cylinder. Some people ask, how do you glue these down if you want them to stand up? If you glue them down flat like that, that's of course how you glue them down. But if you want them to stand up, what I usually do is I cut uh, some slips right down here. I cut those slips and you can fold them in or out. I prefer folding them in. Just like that. And now you can put glue on that and have it stand straight up just like that. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to make a rectangular or triangular prism. You can do both using this type of technique. You start with a square or a rectangle again, you fold it in half, then you fold it in half again, you open it up, and you can see that the triangular prism is starting to come together. What I'm going to do now is reverse this fold I could put some glue here and then hold it together and there is my triangular prism. Now if I want to make a rectangular prism, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fold, I'm going to put another fold in it, what I commonly refer to as a glue fold. Put a little glue there, connect it just like that. Now again, just like the cylinder, you can cut slits into the edges, fold those in or out so that it can stand up just like that. Or of course you can lay it down. And that's how you make those basic 3D forms.